Hello my fellow miner, today we are going to have a look at zero mining. What is zero? Which wallet and miner? Overclock settings? Expected average results? Profits. Zero, also known as super zero, is a cryptocurrency. Yes, you already knew that of course, but did you know their page haven't been updated for almost two years? The 26th of April. 2020. Then why mine it at all? Well, because of profits. If you sometimes check what to mine with an LHR card, you'll see that zero is actually often in the top three. And that is actually what makes this interesting, the rest we don't really care about. Wallet and miner. It's quite simple. Get T-Rex miner and get the wallet I link to in the description. The one you're interested in is called pull up decentralized light wallet and then just select the platform you want. Overclock settings. It's easy. Overclock settings for zero is actually quite easy. Set offset to 50 and if you have GDDR6, then set the memory to 1800 in HiveOS or 900 in Windows. If you have GDDR6X, then set the memory to zero. The rest is controlled via power level. Zero is not affected at all in any way by LHR. To get up and running in Hyper, simply create a new one at first where you select zero, then a flight sheet as seen on the screen, and then of course also the extra configuration. Pretty straightforward for a Hive OS master like you. When that is done, simply add the overclock settings as seen here where you take the value from the overclock screen. In Windows, simply create a bash file based upon what you see here and run it as admin. Please note that we are using NVIDIA SMI to set the power level as T-Rex does it in percentage. Since different brands of the same GPU have different voltages, then percentage makes absolutely no sense. And that is why we are using NVIDIA SMI to set it. Smart, right? Yes, smart like a ninja. Full disclaimer, I have no idea if ninjas are smart. The few I know are very smart, but they are all from video games. Or cheesy 80 movies like American Ninja. Average results. And finally we have the results here. If you have mined zero before, you will be able to see that I'm actually aiming for efficiency here. If you are interested, then you can up the watts to actually get more power. Well, obviously that will give you more power, but I mean more mega hash. Oh, more calculating power. However, it will be at the cost of efficiency. Now let's have a look at the mining screen before we move on to profits. Compared to mining Ethereum, there's not actually much to note here with the exception of, of course, higher power usage, which equals higher temperatures. That is quite normal though. However, they are pretty far from anything I would deem dangerous. Even my extremely bad RTX 3070 Ti is within acceptable range. And now it's finally time to have a look at the profits. If you are interested in seeing how it does compared to other uh, crypto coins, then either click the link up in the description that should appear now, or go to my channel and check out the daily updated crypto mining profit videos. It contains a lot of different cryptocurrencies, including dual mining and triple mining. That is all for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please click a like. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, then now is a very good time to do it. And hit the little bell notification for maximum spam. See you in the next one.